Can the PCs rebuild if people are pushing for this united right at the same time? Well, in a way, it's making it more um, of a, an issue for people in the PCs who don't want to unite. They're thinking, we've got to act now. I've talked to them last year, and they were saying a real problem they were having was that people who were active in the past were no longer active with the party. Those who were active were people like Jonathan Dennis pushing for Unite the Right. Hmm. That became a public issue. You're starting to get the, you can call them mainstream PC, or the progressive uh, of the conservatives, um, are starting to push back now, thinking if we don't do anything right now, we may end up being pushed into a corner with the Wild Rose. Um, there's two things. One is uh, is helping the pushback, and one is the, we saw the poll a few weeks ago showing that um, of decided voters in Alberta, I think 33% were for the Wild Rose, 31% for the PCs. The margin of error is 3%. It's basically a, a two-way tie. Mm. And people in the PCs are thinking, well, hold on for a second. We have a, a chance of making a big comeback here. Uh, we, we shouldn't be rolling in bed with the Wild Rose because it's never a merger. It's always a takeover. It's basically the Wild Rose taking us over. And, of course, there's an argument right now. Last election, the PCs got more votes than the Wild Rose. The Wild Rose got more seats, like double the number of seats than the, the PCs. But there's a feeling in the PCs now that they can actually um, make a comeback. And so they are pushing back. They are trying to um, show their, their members they can actually make a stand. One of the big things that's going to be for them is the um, upcoming, I haven't got a date yet. By-election in by -election Calgary Greenway. Greenway. This is to yeah. replace Manmeet Buller, who was killed last year in a traffic accident. Mm -hmm. That has to be called by the end of May, early June. We're going to call that election. That's the Premier's provocative. Uh, sorry. Prerogative. Prerogative. Sorry. And, uh, it's, so it's, it's, a pr it's a provocative prerogative. Well, I was, it's, it's, yeah. like, it's a Freudian slip. <laughs> so when they actually do that, if the PCs can do well, if they can win that and win it by... A, a large margin especially, they're going to say we are back. So this is going to be a test for the PCs to prove to themselves and the public that they can make a comeback. And, and if they lose it, they'll say, ah, it's just one by-election. Yeah, the really thing matter. is, well, no, it, it may mean more than that, but I think a win for them is going to be really important. They also have a, a convention coming up in May. So all these mm -hmm. meetings they're doing right now will feed into a convention to, to say, where do we go from here? Another big issue for them as a leader. Yeah, I was going to say, but who's going to step forward and be the leader of that well, party? Well, if they think there's actually a chance of winning, if it's a chance of them coming back. It's like a chicken and egg syndrome here. If they're doing well, they win Greenway. All of a sudden, they're making a comeback. They're getting more money, perhaps. Uh, that may then start feeding into the notion of they can get attract a credible leader, and that's really going to help it.